All right, so how's it going? Let's look at a related rate problem. It says a baseball diamond is a square with 90 feet. A batter hits the ball, runs, runs toward first base with a speed of 24 feet per second. So we've got two questions we've got to answer here. At what rate is his distance from second base decreasing when he is halfway to first base? And then part B, at what rate is his distance from third base increasing at the same moment? All right, so let's draw a picture of this. Uh, here we have a baseball diamond. All right, so, so here's first base, second base, third base, and then home plate. All right. So we need to we need to label this stuff. So we've got a guy hits the ball and he starts running. And so let's just put him right here, just anywhere. His his the distance from home plate is changing the whole time he's running. And in each of these, and it says it's a square, the the baseball field. So we know each of these are right angles. Okay, we know this is a right angle. Now, let's just call this distance from here to here, let's call that x. And so that means the distance from here to here would be 90 minus x. Okay? Because they, you know, the, the entire distance, the sides are 90 feet. Now, what do we want to know? Well, at what rate is his distance from second base decreasing? Okay, so his distance, the distance from him to second base, let's draw that in. Let's draw that in with a, with a different color. All right. So we'll call this, let's call it Y. Okay. We can call it anything you want. All right. So, and we also know that this is a right angle, all right? And this is 90 feet, okay? So, let's write down the information that they give us, okay? And let's write down what we're looking for. Okay. All right. So this is for part A. All right. So they give us dx dt is equal to 24 feet, 24 feet per second. That's given. And that's how fast he's running. All right. Now for part A, what do they want us to find? Well, it says, at what rate is his distance from second base decreasing? All right, so that's the change in this distance here, in the change of y. So we're looking for dy dt. That's what we're looking for. So let's come up with an equation, because we're going to have to differentiate it. So I've got... I've got this right triangle here. Okay, you see it? So I know that y squared is equal to 90 minus x squared plus 90 squared. All right, so we've got our equation here. And I'm going to need to take the derivative with respect to t. So I've got 2y times dy dt is equal to, now here I'm going to use chain rule, so that's going to be 2 times 90 minus x, 2 comes down, subtract 1 from the exponent, which gives us a 1, times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, so derivative of 90 minus x is negative 1, and then times dx dt. And then the derivative of 90 squared, that's just zero. All right. Now, well, 
what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for dy dt. So let's solve this thing for dy dt. Well, I'm going to divide both sides by 2y. So that is going to give me dy dt is equal to, well, the twos will cancel. Let's bring the negative out front here. So negative 90 minus x over y times dx dt. All right. And then we just plug everything in. Okay. So I know, I know what I'm going to plug in for dx dt. That's 24. Oh, but wait a minute. Now I got to figure out, well, what's X and what's Y? Okay. Well, let's see what it says. At what rate is his distance from second base decreasing when he is halfway to first base? Okay. So that tells me that X is equal to 45. That's half a 90. Okay. But now I need to figure out what Y is. Well, Y squared is equal to this side squared plus this side squared, right? So Y is equal to, well, Y squared is this side squared plus this side squared. So Y would equal the square root of that. Well, what's X? Well, it's 45, right? And you can see 90 minus 45 is just 45. So that's 45 squared plus, and then this side squared, the 90 squared. And so that tells me Y is equal to the square root of 10125. So there's Y. So now we can plug everything in. So I get DY DT is equal to negative and that's going to be 90 minus X, which is 45, over Y, which is the square root of 10125, times DX DT, which is 24. And when you put all that into your calculator, you end up with negative 10.7 feet per second. And there's your answer. All right, so now let's do part B. And I'll pause the video while I erase everything. All right, so now let's look at part B. All right, so at what rate is his distance from third base increasing at the same moment? All right, so let's draw in What we're wanting to find at what rate is his distance from third base increasing so we're looking for this let's call this z okay so we want to know about this distance changing okay and and you can see it's similar to what we just did in part a we know this is 90 that's a right angle and this time we're looking for what dz dt the change in z all right so we're going to do the same thing we're going to um we're going to get our equation well this is a right triangle here so i know that z squared is equal to x squared plus 90 squared all right so let's take the derivative so i've got 2z times dz dt is equal to 2x dx dt. And then the derivative of 90 squared is just 0. And then I need to solve this for dz dt. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2z. And so that leaves me dz dt is equal to x over z times dx dt. All right, so 
I got to start plugging stuff in now. Well, the DX DT, I know that's 24. X, we know X. X is 45 because it said what at the same moment. So that's 45 feet when he's halfway. But now I need to know what Z is. So I got to plug that in. Well, when X is 45, we can solve for Z. X is 45. This side is 90. Pythagorean theorem, Z squared is this side squared plus this side squared. So that means Z is the square root of that. So in this case, we want to know when X is 45. So that's 45 squared plus 90 squared. And you can see it's going to be the same as the other problem. That's 1, 0, 1, 2, 5. There's Z. All right, so now I get DZ DT is X, which is 45, over Z, which is square root 10125, times DX DT, which is 24. And so that is going to give me 10.7 feet per second. It's the same thing. It's just in the first one, we got negative 10.7. In this one, we got positive 10.7. But remember, as he when we were doing this from uh, second base, as he was traveling this way, this distance here, it was decreasing. And so we got the negative. And here, as he's moving away, this distance is increasing. We get the positive. All right, so hope the video helped. Go check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.